<laughs> Our weak fire. Hey, I wanted to have you sum up your experience of yesterday's ride. All right, well, usually, when you see rain in the forecast, you're usually going, no, I don't want rain. But it always, you know, once it rains, it makes everything so much prettier. Takes away the dust, so the dirt was perfect. So yesterday ended up being an awesome day because we had a little storm roll through. The part that stuck out to me was the big old pines that had all the moss hanging off of them. That's just something you don't ever see in Utah, so. Yeah, yesterday was just a riot. Perfect dirt. We were all kind of, you know, pushing each other a little bit and just having a good time. Probably the best part was the bladed road. It was nice and wet. A lot of fun. No dust. We got to race a little bit. That was fun. And then riding the 790 down the pavement was a lot of fun. Twisty, fun road. That 790 is awesome on the road like that. Yeah, you guys swapped bikes a few times, didn't you? We did. I just rode the 790. I'm going to take Justin's bike today for all the slab though. I think we timed it about right. I mean, I was a little bit worried at first because we were uh, going to kind of hunker down in Missoula until the rain almost got there. But <clears throat> then I realized I'd rather end the day dry than start early and end the day wet. So it was so much fun. That Lolo motorway is incredible. I mean, what can you say? They had the water truck out, everything was perfect, no dust. Great day. Where are we right now? Just out of Grangeville. Up in the campground? Yeah. What Grange. is it? Fish Creek? Is that the yeah, name of Fish it? Creek. Grangeville was full. Yeah, sold out, no rooms. At all. A, Even the was, sketch. Yep. Yeah, it was like midnight when I crawled in my sleeping bag. But there was a Super 8 there that looked like it had a beautiful hot tub. We were all pretty bummed. Yeah. It was it sucked. Pull in there, long day, dark. We thought, oh, look at this beautiful hot tub. Sorry, sold out. Yeah, call ahead, get reservations no if doubt. you're going to be there. That's the <laughs> trick to that one. Yep, yep. But anyways, today, so we're going to head down towards Yellow Pine. Yeah, that area. we'll go through um, is it Bagdorf, the hot springs. Bergdorf, Bergdorf. 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 <laughs> okay, my apologies. I can't get that I, one Hey, straight. I don't know. Bergdorf, you're correct. All right. <laughs> Used to be pretty cool hot springs, but I think uh, I think there's been some fires around it or through it. And kind of I don't know there. if it burned up the cabins in the lodge, but I know it burned all around it. We'll find out here in a couple hours. Yeah, cool. So we leave out of here and we hit some slab all up through the canyon. We'll need to be a little careful. I heard some log trucks this morning. Do you think we're on schedule to make it back by Tuesday? Uh, we're, we're a little behind. We're a little behind schedule. But... Uh, I don't know. We're going to be okay either way. The, the, the problem is I just don't want to have to take highway to finish it off. I just soon keep to the good stuff. And I think we're dirt all the way to Yellow Pine, clear down till we hit the highway. We may go to Loman. We may be able to get a room or a tent spot there or find something down that way. That's pretty reasonable. Cool. Uh, Rob's bike suddenly won't start, so we're checking some fuses and whatever else. That must be keyed. Turn the key on. So all the fuses are good. Yeah, let's <laughs> check the main fuse on the other peak. Oh, yeah. Let's look at the big one. Where was that? That guy. This guy? Yep, the fuse is in there. That's right. We've learned this lesson before. I think it's that switch. I think it's still taking the part. switch is off. This switch? Yeah, because when you turn that off, it turns, you can't start it. No. Oh, kickstand is down, but he's in neutral. Yeah. I got the clutch. Hold that clutch. Still not good. 
Because when you turned that on, it turned on my fuel pump. Which yeah, is, and it wasn't before. Yeah. Now let off of it. So it's so that's this, the switch is switching the power. Mm -hmm. so move the back probe, the four wires going in, and see if it's activating that solenoid. Or is that what you guys just did? It might be as simple as it doesn't have enough voltage to turn the computer on. Do you have a jump starter? I don't know. Yeah, maybe it is just a weak battery. Could be. It, it could be. After all that testing, it turns out it was just a battery. We got a jumper pack, started right up. up the mess of the GoPro and then some slick mud. It just cranked my leg pretty good. Let me give it a minute to see. Here, let me put my glove I think, it, I think right it's here. okay. It just stunned it a bit. I gotta give it a second to see if it's hurt. Ow, oh, it just munched it real good and then twisted it. Mm -hmm. I, could see. I was afraid it twisted my knee or something, but my knee feels all right. Oh, I just want to take a nap for a minute. Ow. Oh. Slid one way. <laughs> yeah, high, it, side. high side of you. There's no room for high sides on these big bikes, dudes. <laughs> no. There, you just, you're done. It's funny, I've never had any close calls at all on that, and that one was just like, hey, I think my GoPro, I think my Go, I think I reached up to turn it on, so hopefully it caught that. <laughs> <laughs> top of this ridge and uh, looking at the map looks like we're gonna come across and all the way down and drop down into the river over here we're looking across at all the switchbacks from the logging and ask Charles about the route coming up and there's a spot over there that's got some pretty gnarly switchbacks so it looks fun Yeah, I don't know, I came around a corner and slid, the front end kind of washed out one way and then took me the other way and I high sided and the bike kind of landed on my leg. It's a little tweak, but I'll be all right. Jim, when he should have yawed. <laughs> it hurt, but that's part of it. So, that's gotta be more careful. Yeah, we're just cruising along and there's tons of wild blackberries here. I decided to pull over and take a peek, see if there's any on the bush. And oh my gosh. Oh man, those are good. Whew. That was worth it. Just like a bear in the woods, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty loaded up. They were tasty. Vine ripe and grabbed a handful. 
It's unfortunate with the bikes, it's tough to haul fresh berries with you, but you know, you can stop and have a snack. Enjoy yourself. Now we're eating plums. He's trying. Oh, we got plums. Yeah. Yeah. They look Thank like, you, Idaho. They look like little tomatoes. They're little tiny plums. They're dang good. Eric, where are we? Oh, obviously, we're at the Allison Creek picnic area. Oh, we just dropped down to the Salmon River. And uh, no, we're just taking a little break, and then we're going to cruise down here next to the river for a minute, and then we're going to take off up a mountain that looks like that. Oh, good. Yeah. We got a lot of miles to do today. Yeah, today's, it'd be nice to get some miles today. Yeah, and for all of you guys that don't know, the more miles we do, the less we film. So we're going to do our best. <laughs> we're going to do, just... do our best to capture it all for you guys. Yep, yep. We're trying. So this has kind of been an interesting day. So Justin had a little mishap earlier. Just a little banged up. Big old gal was laying on you. I'm glad Ray was there because I tried to lift it and I couldn't even move it. So <laughs> anyways, but yeah. And then uh, coming up this awesome canyon and we noticed that the, the pole holding the GoPro was empty. And so uh, he just had it stuffed in his, Josh had it stuffed in his luggage and it kind of rattled out. It looked like maybe kind of falling down around the back tire and the back tire probably hit it. So we had some footage on there we didn't want to lose. And so we went back looking for it and was, was able to find it. The scary part is, is that canyon right there. There was so much bear crap in that canyon. The, I was a little nervous just cruising along in first gear looking for the camera. Uh, it's beautiful, but anyways, glad we found it. Yeah, but how cool would it have been to be able to pet a bear or something while you were looking for it? I mean, that'd be pretty neat. I don't think it'd be neat at all. I've seen a couple bears. I don't want to get any closer. <laughs> Gosh, this road is awesome though. This is, it's like nice and smooth, beautiful, flowy. We just don't have these roads in Utah. They're all either beat up or graveled or illegal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they take really good care of their forest roads. Let's see. In Idaho. Idaho's got it going on. Love of the Idaho.
sound where, good. Where are we? <laughs> so we are in the sea sash seashells at the meadows. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Stage sh stop. Pretty good. Stage stop. No, it's cool little. Uh, they've got some gas here. We're gonna get a burger, get some water. So we were gonna push on to Yellow Pine, but uh, we're getting a little tired with a couple of our setbacks today. So I think we're gonna maybe slow her down and and uh, get all of our needs taken care of here, and then we'll just find a spot down the road. Cool. Yeah, it's a cool spot. Very cool spot. <laughs> I'll trade someone. You guys can cook. I'm gonna go ride. <laughs> dredge must have come through this uh, river as well. They got all these tailings and big rock piles. Just like earlier in the ride. Pretty cool. Idaho's got a lot to offer. It's pretty incredible. This is Warren. country is amazing. Switchbacks I'm heading down right now are just insane. How rugged this country is. Gosh dang this is so pretty. Especially this time of day. Look at that. Houses on the river down there. Gosh so pretty. I was turning around, my bike fell off and pulled me off on top of it, and I broke my wrist. <laughs> it's funny how we found out about it is my daughter was carrying my other daughter that's an infant, and my daughter was in her motorcycle boots and tripped and dropped our infant, fell on her, and it broke her femur and it folded it and like crushed her femur. So I had to hold her leg down while they're having an x ray done. And it, one of our friends is the doctor, and he x rayed my wrist my right wrist he, oh, actually, he, saw he saw it and he's like have you broke your wrist lately and i said well i broke my arm like in third grade and he says no like in the last month or so but not that i know of and he said yeah you have <laughs> it, it wasn't bugging you at all oh yeah it was bugging me I, every time i'd get up off the ground i'm like man that hurts <laughs> yeah shane what do you think of camp it's pretty cool it's a little humid right now but camping along the river i think will be worth it as long as we don't get eaten by bears because uh, of the blackberries yeah yeah ray's bringing them in by the dozens Ray, ray's picked a gallon of blackberries hoping we see some elk at some point too there's a ton of elk droppings around here i doubt we will but mm. We're getting ready to get sprayed by a skunk, I think. Oh, is it? Dang it. Oh, he's right there. Why is he hanging out by my tent? He's gonna <laughs> come he's back. Something. He knows you like the smell. You know he's gonna come back. I'm gonna back. get up to pee in the night. He's gonna get peed out. on by that oh. thing. No, that would, oh, that would be awful. I had the pleasure of running into three of them with my dog. 
He's working his way that way. Yeah, Whoa. he is. Go over there and chase him to the, that way. Hopefully he sprayed someone uh, yesterday. Because I low. think it's like, it takes them a couple days to build up their stinker again, so. <laughs> Doesn't take me a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running, I run through the mint, and I'm breathing through my mouth, and it got on my tongue, and for days, maybe better than a week, I could taste the skunk on my tongue. It's unbelievable stuff. But my uncle told us that you had to smash the scent, scent bags, and we got two cinder blocks and smashed the scent bags. Nope, nope. That was the day I felt smell. I felt it. <laughs> I didn't just smell it. It didn't knock my ass to the ground. <laughs> Feel it deep in your nose. <laughs> well, that, that was the fun thing with KLR because, like, I see it on K. Well, I started reading about them, and I'm like, you know, they'd be kind of fun to commute to work. It's kind of like a dirt bike, you know. So I start reading more and more, and then I find that that one that was in an abusive home. And it was a rescue KLR. <laughs> and uh, so I brought it home for 300 bucks. I mean, the guy checked his uh, irrigation with it. The fork, the fork uh, uh, boots, they had dry rotted so much they were in ringlets. They were a stack of ringlets at the bottom. Uh, the seat was duct tape. I mean, it was clapped. And so I start reading about this doohickey thing. And Dude, I remember you this, come in, that, you come in the office and tech w <laughs> check in with us. And you came in the one day and he's like, have you ever heard about these KLRs? And just like, Ray, I got to go back to work. And so I'd work in, they come in another day. Hey, these KLRs are like a cult. There's all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, you're crazy, dude. The next day he comes in, I bought one. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't remember when he told what us year about was the that? KLR before he bought one. And I'm just like, uh, whatever. Finally Google it to see what it is. And I was like, that is ugly as sin. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is freaking ugly. <laughs> Yeah, we, we thought Ray was crazy as hell. <laughs> we will update you guys tomorrow if we make it through the night without getting sprayed by the skunk. I just caught a whiff of it um, downwind of it right now. At least that's what I think. So we'll see whose camp it ends up in here in a few hours. Hand tight.